and this is a hybrid microphone specially made by the Center for Art Tapes for the Center for Art Tapes and this is an exclusive premiere of this up-and-coming technology. Frankly, I'm privileged. I feel privileged to be speaking <laughs> to this thing. All right, ask me some questions. Wow, and we haven't even, I haven't even asked one <laughs> question yet. Tonight, it's the biggest episode in Offset history with filmmaker Alison Kriba, from Incendia Modus, Kyle Scott, director of Halifax Circus, Mike Hirschbach, and the music of John Mullane. There's no telling where this interview could possibly go. Where are you going to go? Yeah. Now, you, the reason we're here, not only are we showcasing this amazing new microphone, which you can purchase at... Uh, where nowhere, this, nowhere. Nowhere. Special you, order only. Special mail-in order is the only way to get this <laughs> mail, right now. Mail-in yeah. order. Mail-in order. It's the only way we do it. Write a letter. You write us, and we will send you one pronto. Postcards, also. We don't do post... No. We discontinued that. Posted checks? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but along with that... We are here tonight because you have your film screening. Your film was called Being Here. And what would you how would you describe your film Being Here to someone who hasn't seen it before? I would describe it as a collage of of images portraying um, a place that maybe hopefully feels familiar to anybody who has lived or visited Halifax or the surrounding regions. Um, accompanied by sort of a um, audio mash of um, interviews that I conducted about what it's like to live um, and how people feel living in this place. Okay, well, this is a big topic. Stay still! Where's the red at? The red is right here. Like in a broader sense, a search for a feeling of being here. How would you describe the place you live? I live here. Where do you live? In here. How, how small everything grows, how barren it looks, mm. even though it's so beautiful. So small. It's so small, I love that. What was the process for this film? How long did this film take to produce from start to finish? Uh, six months, roughly. Wow. Yeah. And you, did you, you edited it yourself, you wrote it, directed it as well? Everything. Yeah. Shot, shot the whole thing, edited it, made the audio components. What's next for you? Do you have any future projects you'd like to shamelessly plug? So many future projects. All of them will be excellent, hopefully. Better than just continuing to be good. <laughs> but none that I can speak of yet. Okay. And can you just talk briefly about uh, the Center for Arts and Tapes and their part in the whole thing? Totally helpful. Uh, facilitated the entire project. It would not have been possible. Um, without the generous generosity of uh, the Center for Art Tapes, lending me equipment, giving me so much time to spend editing it. Um, a key to the CBC building, what more could I ask? It's excellent. Do you still have the key or do they take it from you at the end? I still have the key. So if anything goes missing, <laughs> we'll have at least one suspect, right? Well, no, no, no. If anything sh magically appears and is contributed positively to the Center for Art Tapes, then you'll have one sus suspect. I love the Center for Art Tapes. We all do. <laughs> Who's your favorite Center for Arts and Tapes employee? Can't say. Okay. You'll have to tune in next time. So, c where can people see this film? Is there a place where they can go watch it right now online, or is it...? No, no, no. No. <laughs> so you'll have to come to a live screening. Private viewings only. <laughs> Private viewings only in a city near you, and we'll be right back.
All right, we are here live right now with who? Who am I with right now? Kyle Scott. Kyle Scott. Now, what did we just see you do? We saw some incredible things. What the hell was that? Uh, you saw just a, a brief, um, I don't know, demonstration of some of the uh, fire shows that we have. Uh, in our now, when you say our, you're referring to your... Uh, Incendia Modus. Uh, we're the East Coast uh, Fire Crew of Canada. There are no other fire crews in Canada. Nice. Do you guys have a website? Well, on the East Coast of Canada. As a matter of fact, uh, we do. Yeah. It's uh, Incendia Modus at blogspot.ca. Cool. Now, you guys are performing tonight as a part of the Nocturne Festival, right? Yes, we are. We're performing with the Halifax Circus Circle. Now, where do you guys normally perform? Where can people normally find you guys? Uh, normally, you can find me right up on Spring Garden Road in front of the library busking. Right. Full-time fire. That's what I do. Nice, nice, uh, nice. But when the rest of the crew isn't uh, performing, we're all based at Halifax. Just a bunch of bucks. Cool. So, uh, you guys are like, how many people are in this company? Uh, well, it's a matter. For shows like this, we generally bring in a few, uh, few extra people. Yeah. Um, so right now, I believe we're at nine. But uh, at any given time, our average traveling crew is about six. I tried for a year before I ever lit anything on fire, uh, and I practice everything as much as I think like physically. Every day we're all practicing. Uh, no one lights up without going through proper uh, safety demonstrations. Yeah. So a show like that was very high energy, and it's still going on behind us. How do you prepare for a show like that, like just to get your uh... um, rest, and then the rest of it comes to adrenaline. Yeah. You know, like once there's like 200 people there staring at you, you don't really get a chance to make mistakes. So you gotta you gotta run, you gotta go with it, and just give it all the energy you can every time. Absolutely. It was a great show. This is our first stop on the Nocturne Festival. So it's gonna be is, awesome. If this is anything like the, what the rest of uh, the show has in store for us, then it's gonna be a great night. And I love the, the face tattoo. That's incredible. It, it works, man. Yeah, every yeah. little bit counts. Yeah. All right, man. We'll be right Done back. Done by Kayla Stewart. <laughs> Yeah. No, I do. No, no, I do. No, you look familiar. All right, all that's, right. that's all I can say. Okay. You're familiar. Thank you. That's right. the most I can ask for. Good. You rolling? <laughs> all right, so uh, we're down here. We're covering Nocturnal this evening. And right now, we just saw an incredible show where people were swinging around in the ceiling and doing all these uh, things on the ground. What I can't even describe what I just saw, but you could probably describe it better because you are. I'm Mike Hirschbach, the director of Halifax Circus, which is a professional circus school in downtown Halifax. So what you saw, um, well of course it changes with each of the presentations that we've done tonight, but what I think you saw tonight was Kristen working on the aerials, so she did aerial silks, and in some of the previous uh, shows that we've been doing tonight we also had the aerial hammock. We didn't have the trapeze tonight, but we did have lots of juggling, the hand-to-hand, -hand, which is acrobatic hand balancing. That's what was going on on the ground. That's what was going on on the ground. Those right? women are incredibly strong. They are very, well the thing is, is that you don't start off strong when you start, when you start working on circus work. You build up your strength and stamina and flexibility as you're doing it. So Now this is something too that you, you guys actually take people that want to come in and learn how to do this kind of thing. Absolutely. You actually teach people how we, to do it. We work at a professional level, um, working with people who intend to make circus their life's work, but primarily we work with the general public and we also have a youth at risk program, so we work with uh, kids who are in difficulty. If, uh, if people wanted to get involved, in yes. this, if they've liked what they've seen tonight, and of course they have. Sure. Uh, is there a website or something they can go to, or do they just come down here? They can go to halifaxcircus.com. Pretty simple. Almost too simple. Almost too simple, a but little... just complicated enough. Yes, that it's worth going <laughs> That's to. That's right. All right, thanks for your time. I know you're busy. Still to come, a live, unplugged performance of John Mullane's hit single, The One That Got Away. All of the things that we would do I'd turn back in time and follow you now and Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose But somehow I believe you'll make it through It comes back to me and it's all over now It's all over now Where are you now? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes it all comes back to you. 
It's hard to believe for me it's true Can't turn back in time and follow you now There's no other words that I could say It's all over now and I'm too late Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose Sometimes it all comes back to you Back to you I'm dreaming